Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. It's your Federico here. And today for you, I have a very nice little patch. I made this patch as an answer to a request from one of my Patreons, which also kindly provided the 3D objects, the 3D model files. So as you saw some second ago, this patch is about morphing those two 3D models one into the other. So let's give it a go. It's going to be nice and short. So first thing, we need a JIT world with the usual attributes, floating one, maybe the size of the window, and we enable it by default, and we also gave it full scale anti-aliasing. There it is. Um, let's also create a GGL camera with lock look set to one, look at 000, and tripod one. We will we'll also attach Gitanium drive to that to control our camera with the, the keyboard. So we connect it here. And then we could have a GGL environment object to load a cube map or a skybox texture. And there is a nice one inside Max. So if we go into the file browser and we look for EXR, which is the file type, there is this one called Photo Studio Loft All. Um, I will just copy the file name because it's already in the math in the Max search path. Pass it here. Cool. So if we now create a GGL Skybox, we should see the environment map. There we go. And we can move around with the keyboards because we have the Gitanium drive. Nice. Um, then what we want to have is the GGL model object. I will give it the normalize one attribute, which will make the model normalize. So all its vertices will be in the minus one to one range. And I will give it the matrix output two, So it will output also with the transform. Uh, we, at we apply to the object, so with the rotation, scaling and position. And then I will give it the file name. So I have these files here, which is called cat.och. As I say, those are provided by my friendly patron. And since we saw, uh, since we set matrix output two is not going to output anything, if we will set to zero, we will see the 3D model. There it is, it's a little catty. And then the second file, it's called cathuman.och. All right, so let's go back here and set matrix output to two. Okay, now if we want to visualize those models, we can use a GGL mesh, give it draw mode triangles. And then when these matrices come in, it will use the, the vertices data to visualize, to reconstruct the shape by drawing them as triangles. In fact, if we use like poly mode one one, we can see that this is just a bunch of triangles attached together. It's not, it's not a grid shape as we will have it in the GGL grid shape object, which uh, will be drawn then with, uh, which we will then be drawn with three grid. This is a bunch of triangles attached together. Cool. Let's even attach GGL PBR so we have a bit more nice lighting to the object. Looks good. It's also reflecting the environment map. Nice. And cool. Now, if to do the morphing is real simple, we just need a GGen object. We connect the two matrices input to it. And as you can see, it's already kind of morphing between cat and human. Pretty cool. So we open the GGen object, it opens the gen patcher, and we create a new param. Well, let's call it like mix ball. And then we want to and then we want to mix between these two matrix inputs with a mix object and using as a mix value the mix pal uh, parameter. So now we can just go in max and say prepend mix pal and we can then create something to, we could just create a float number that goes between zero and one, but we can also use an like slider object divide it by 127 just to make it explicit. We could also go in the inspector and change this to float, uh, to output float numbers between zero and one, but I, I like to do it explicitly like that. And cool, we have a cat morphing into the human. Now the cat is a bit too big, so we could go here and set its scale to 0.2. And since we are using matrix output two, it will output the matrix with the vertices scaled. So now we have it a bit more realistic, the proportions, although the cut is maybe even too small. Let's set it to 0.3. Right. And the cut will morph into the human. Very much McGonagall, every 
butterish vibes here. Um, there we go. What's not to love here? But there is a caveat, um, which is for this effect to really work at its best, the two models need to have the same amount of vertices. In fact, if we check these two matrices, uh, we can see the buffer 4092 vertices, so that's the best case, because in case they will not have, like if we load another model, like duck.die, yeah, that's what happens. It doesn't really work as well. This uh, model has 12,000 vertices, so that's how it will then look when we try to morph them into each other. So for the moment, that's the way uh, we need to have the, vert the models to have the same amount of vertices to really have this effect working perfectly. All right, so this was it. Hope you liked it. You can get the patch from my Patreon and getting access to the pattern, you will get access to other tons of jitter patches and also access to my Discord channel. So check it out and I will see you in the next video. Take care, have fun, ciao.